time to show all of your friends for story time! Are you and Stu ready for story time? Because our friends are going to be here like any... Oh, oh, they're already here! Hello, friends! And happy late Halloween! Did you have fun? Did you have a fabulous time? We had a lot of fun going out trick-or-treating, didn't we? What did you dress up as? Ooh, some of those costumes sound scary, but some of them sound like they were a lot of fun. Well, I hope you got a lot of candy. And boy, do we have a treat for you today, right, Indy? Today, we start our month-long series on the rainbow fish. It's a series of stories written by Marcus Pfister. A couple weeks ago, we read Rainbow Fish's origin story. Today, we're going to read from The Adventures of Rainbow Fish, and we're going to read Finders Keepers. Are you ready? Here we go. Rainbow Fish was swimming through the coral reef. He was looking for colorful shells for his collection. Well, what could that be, Rainbow Fish wondered. He swam down for a closer look. It's so bright and shiny. Sea glass, cried Rainbow Fish. It's so beautiful. Rainbow Fish loved the sea glass. He always carried it around. Pretty sea glass with a hole in it. Hmm. I wonder what the hole is from. One day after school, Rainbow Fish couldn't find his sea glass. Oh no, how could I have lost it, he cried. He searched every inch of the coral reef. He looked everywhere, but he could not find it. It wasn't at the sunken ship or swirling in the whirlpool. It wasn't along Mrs. Krabbit's shortcut. Rainbow Fish was heartbroken. His beautiful sea glass was gone. Poor Rainbow Fish. A few days later, Little Blue jetted through the sunken ship. Check out my lucky charm, he boasted. Hey, that's my sea glass, cried Rainbow Fish. I've been looking all over for it. Where did you find it? It's not your sea glass, said Little Blue. Yes, it is. I found it, and then I lost it, said Rainbow Fish. Look. Do you see the sea glass? I've had this forever, said Little Blue. Oh, come on, Little Blue, said Rosie. I saw you pick that up at the oyster beds on the way to school. I must have dropped it at the oyster beds when I went looking for pearls with Puffer, said Rainbow Fish. doesn't prove anything. Just because you lost a piece of sea glass doesn't mean that this one is yours, cried Little Blue. Besides, said Little Blue, I've never seen you with a piece of sea glass. Mm. Little Blue is quite certain that that is their sea glass. I have an idea, said Dinah, as she took the piece of sea glass and hid it behind her. Describe the sea glass to me, said Dinah. Little Blue, you start. Mm, I like Dinah. Little Blue hesitated. Well, it's um orange, he said. 
You mean red, Rainbow Fish corrected. Right, that's what I meant, red, Little Blue said. And, and it's smooth and round, Little Blue added. You mean except for the hole, Rainbow Fish corrected. Well, of course, except for the hole, said Little Blue. I got mixed up when you interrupted me. Ooh, Little Blue's quite defensive. That's not what it sounds like to me, said Diana. Everyone agreed that the sea glass belonged to Rainbow Fish. I found it fair and square, shouted Little Blue. Finders keepers lose their sweepers. Mmm, taunting. That's not very nice. What if you lost something you really loved, asked Dinah. But it's not fair, cried Little Blue. Well, maybe Rainbow Fish could help you find another piece of sea glass, suggested Tug. Well, that was some nice advice. We'll never find a piece of sea glass like this one, said Little Blue. We can find one that's just as pretty, said Rainbow Fish. You can hold this one while we look. Wow, that was really nice of Rainbow Fish. Little Blue found a piece of sea glass. It was bright yellow and very pretty. Rainbow Fish had his own piece of sea glass back, and they both were very happy. The end. So what will Rainbow Fish and his friends explore with us next week? I can't wait to find out. Hello, everyone. Stu and I are so happy to see you. We really like today's story about rainbow fish called Finders Keepers. The more we get to know rainbow fish, the more we like them. We like them a lot. They showed a lot of kindness and care to their friend, Little Blue, even though Little Blue was the one that was in the wrong. This also reminded us of a story that Pastrix Carmen told us. Actually, it's a story that Jesus told about an old woman who lost a coin. And she searched and she searched and she searched. And when she finally found it, all of her friends came together to celebrate. Just like Rainbow Fish's friends did in this story. In the story that Jesus told, the old woman represented God looking for something that was lost. God keeps looking and looking for all of us who are lost because God wants all of us to find them so that we can be loved by them and so that we can love them in return. Stu and I think that's pretty amazing, which is why we gave this story a whole five bananas. Will you pray with me? Yay! Thank you for today's story. It's fun finding out new things about our world. Help us remember what we learned today. We look forward to tomorrow and all the wonderful things you will show us. Amen. If you like story time or you like Shalom and friends, please like, comment, and share our videos with your friends. Back by popular demand, new episodes will be released Fridays at 7. If you'd like to support the ministry of Shalom and friends, you can make a secure donation through our website or through the app at Roberts Park United Methodist Church. See you later, alligator!